Joe Biden in the White House reversing course, not using that aggressive extremist MAGA language anymore, quite as aggressively as they were. Remember this clip from the president here, Biden came out and he said the following, he said, Biden was calling the GOP semi-fascists and saying the GOP ideology was very analogous to, I guess, the Nazis. The MAGA Republicans don't just threaten our personal rights and economic security. They're a threat to our very democracy. They refuse to accept the will of the people. They embrace, embrace political violence. What? They don't believe in democracy. So he's he said all extremist Republicans, right? MAGA Republicans has been the language. We've seen it on the president's Twitter account. And we even heard it from Corrine Jean-Pierre. This is what she said. The White House press secretary, Corrine, told us that Joe Biden, in a prior statement that he just made, had been very consistent on this point, has said, that extremist Republicans are in fact dangerous. Here is her clarifying his prior statements. The president thinks that there is an extremist threat to our democracy. Extremist uh, threat. The president has been clear as he can be on okay. that particular uh, piece when we talk about a democracy, when we talk about our freedoms. Uh, the way that he sees is the MAGA Republicans are the most energized part of the Republican Party. Let's rewind that. Who is she talking about? Who are the good Republicans? Who are the bad Republicans? Who's allowed to be a part of society and who's not? Specifically, who are you describing here, Corrine? Let's listen one more time closely. A piece when we talk about a democracy, when we talk about our freedoms, uh, the way that he sees is the MAGA Republicans are the most energized part of the Republican Party. Uh, the, that extreme, this is an extreme threat to our democracy, to our freedom, uh, to our rights. Okay, the MAGA wing of the Republican Party, not talking about elected officials, not talking about Trump, talking about everybody, talking about the entirety of the people who supported Donald Trump. Very interestingly, just about a short day later, Corrine Jean-Pierre comes out and she's singing a little bit of a different tune here. Now, rather than calling it all 80 million people who support Donald Trump, she says it's only the office holders. Listen to this little shift. Go back to tonight's speech. Obviously, you said that the president's gonna be calling out these lawmakers that are MAGA lawmakers in Congress, but you had 74 million people vote for Trump last time around. You said it's a small number that the White House believes are extremists. Can you give us an idea of ballpark? Are we talking a million of that 74 million? Are we talking about 1%, 20%? What How many are, are well, bad? I'm talking, about, um, I'm talking about specifically of uh, MAGA office holders. That's oh! What we're talking about. They're the ones. The we're t I'm talking oh. specifically. I already answered this question oh. uh, about how, um, yeah. you know, we you didn't feel say like office we holders. Nerve. Right when when folks are are, are saying uh, that we're we're trying to be div divisive or that we're talking about millions of voters, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking you, about mag MAGA office holders. I literally just played the clip, Corrine. You did say it. Sorry, she's saying now it's only the office holders. It's not everybody else that she just said. She said Biden's been very clear on this, by the way. And in either one of these two clips that I just played, did you hear them talk about office holders at all? No, of course not, because she is lying, obviously. And here is another statement from her. And they're asking her specifically about this question because the press is wondering how they're going to get away with all of this language. And here is what Corrine says in response to that. What do you think the president's message tonight is for Americans who consider themselves Republicans or may uh, still support the former president? Is there something in the speech directed to them? Well, look, the president really does believe that this, um, that what he's going to talk about um, is something that many Americans are going to care about. It doesn't matter which side of the aisle that you care, where that you sit at, when you think about the possibilities of our democracy, when you think about um, how we are going to fight for, to protect our rights, right, to protect our democracy. Uh, he thinks that's going to touch a lot of people. Uh, we have seen, somebody just talked about polling and how we see that many people are concerned about where our democracy is. Uh, I would argue that's probably across the board. Uh, and when we talk about- You're in charge, We're talking lady. about a very small uh, piece, uh, a component of, um, of the American public. Did you see that there? She's walking it back right now. She says, and, and by the way, also, you know, we're talking about just a, it's a tiny little sliver here, a little small uh, contingent of America. 
It's not all the MAGA Republicans. Joe Biden was just threatening America, saying, uh, unless you've got F-15s, you're in big trouble, right? Joe Biden said, if you have firearms out there, you Second Amendment lunatics, you think you can take me on? I'm Joe Biden. Joe Biden thinks he's like Tom Cruise with a helmet, call sign, pedo Peter. Come fight me, America. Bring your guns. Joe Biden's out there flying around, saving America while you're trying, he's shooting all of you down with your guns, your little pea shooters. He's in his F-15. Give me a stinking break. And now they're saying that they're reducing all these numbers. Oh, it's just a small, tiny sliver. That's not what they mean. All right, we're talking about a very small component of, of uh, uh, MAGA Republicans in Congress. Uh, that, uh, it's not what they said. That is something that they believe, right? But we know, and the president believes, uh, and is optimistic, that there are many, uh, many Americans who want to continue to make sure that we uphold our, our democracy. Uh, and so that is something uh, that... Um, that uh, we'll, we're going to hear some hope about the direction of America uh, and the future of America, building toward a more perfect union. Uh, that is something that we have heard throughout our history in this country. And, uh, and so Ugh. he's going to speak directly to them. All right. So he did. He spoke directly to us and he, sh- I think, screamed at us and he yelled at us all about unity. Problem is his administration, his people, his own press secretary are the individuals who are screaming and shouting about extremist ultra MAGA Republicans who are insurrecting America and going to be the end of all of us. And so that is Biden. Obviously, they're reversing course on that a little bit. We'll see if it continues or if it doesn't.